Hey guys, we're getting ready to start things up here in the community tank. We got John and Lisa sending all of the the great folks at KG Tropicals over. Gonna eliminate that echo. There we go. John and Lisa KG Tropical, so kind, sending over their folks from their live stream. They're lining up here. Hashtag 1M, that's for 1 million. They're winding down over here at KG Tropicals. 1 million, I think that's in reference to John and Lisa's channel. KG Tropicals achieving 1 million views in one month's time. Amazing. That's amazing. Hello, Danikin. Good to see you. Peplin Creek is in the house. Rumball's Fish Room. Hello there, John Larson. Sand Creek Aquatics, present and accounted for. I saw your super chat in KG Tropicals. That was cool. Okay, thank you, guys. They've signed off over here. Thank you, John and Lisa at KG Tropicals. We're live. Welcome to the River Life Community Tank. Cichlids Aquarium in the house. Daryl Deemer, number one, uh, crossing the goal line first with the hello in the chat welcome aboard reels tanks also early got dragon liar dragon liar in the house zarek farm hello i don't know if i've said that name before welcome got look out the retriever in the house welcome lucky are you starving for a treat already we're just saying hello you gotta get on camera if you want the treat you gotta work if you want pay there you go oh look say hello say hello to the river lifers the tankers are here to see lookout Named for a lighthouse, not a mountain. Chattanooga Ed in the house yet? Good girl, Looky. Let's look out the retriever. Queen of Angel Fishes. Hey, mate. Great to have you here. Hung Chow. Holy cow. What a special night. Welcome, Hung Chow. You, you have missed a lot. I mean... It's like Rip Van Winkle waking up for a long nap. We'll have to get you caught up, but we're glad you're back. <laughs> Chattanooga Ed says yes. Hello, Rack. All right. Great having you guys here. Cena Annie. Hello. Fish Room Fever. There's James of Fish Room Fever. James is going to have me on his live stream. He invited me before, and I declined, but he had... He had uh, Bob Steenfot and John of KG Tropicals on, so it was a great show. Uh, and I look forward to being on one of James' live stream at Fish Room Fever. I've got some Fish Room Fever stickers I'm giving away in the sticker jam. You guys send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. You get some of those. Some Chattanooga Ed stickers. Some Project Piava stickers. Some Kaler Aquatics. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a red goby of some type of scarlet dragonette or something. Bob can help me out with that. Lori Venker's in the house. And of course, River Life stickers. Self-addressed stamped envelope. I'm jamming those envelopes full. Send you some stickers if you want them. I love them in my fish room, in my live stream studio, on my desk. I'm a sticker guy. Yeah, the laptop, you can't even tell what color it is because of all the stickers. But I'm glad all you guys are here. Punchy Paints is in the house. Pam, how are you? Candy, did you make it? Hello. Thank you for posting that link. Better Time Stories, great to see you. Shea Gal Miss Fever in the house as well. With Danikin Aquatics. Mark Sportwear Screen Printing and Embroidery in the house. Hello. Chewy's telling me to be prepared for an Aussie raid. Well, the more Aussies, the merrier is what I say. Good day. Bring on the Aussies. I'd ask them to put a shrimp on the barbie for me, but I don't think that's actually Australian culture. We were just sold that as Americans in TV advertising. Jay's Bedroom's in the house. GRB Aquatics, Recon 338. Um, pretty sweet uh, cycling video. Cycling the aquarium on your channel. Good to see that, Recon. Not missing, gone fishing. <laughs> I hear you. Sweet. Kenny Schindler's in the house. Uh, neither, Kenny. Tonight we got zero calorie carbonated water. Uh, melon flavor. The old fresh, fresh market melon flavor. Sand Creek Aquatics said the shirt's been signed. Yes, uh, right here. Corey McElroy signed my aquarium co-op shirt. He also altered the, put a little uh, stash and, and an eye patch and it says, Yar, matey. So... 
So yeah, this is a custom my shirt. Only one like it in the world. Uh, and I'm going to have to get some new shirts. I, I've gone through the whole stack of Fish Fam shirts on our live stream. I asked you last week how many shirts I'd wear. I guess it's 16 or 18, and I'm out. I think I've even worn the Bob Steamfought Steamfought Aquatics hoodie during the live stream, so I've got to get some more shirts. And I'm not going to the Big Fish deal, as John mentioned in KG Tropical Stream, because... Yeah, Murphy was a pirate, and where's Chattanooga Ed? Chattanooga Ed ought to like that because he was Murphy for Halloween. Oh, he's looking for his glasses. That's okay, Ed. Take your time. I, I feel you. I know what that's like. But Riverwife and I are going to the Central Florida Koi and Goldfish Show where the River Life YouTube channel has sponsored a Best in Show Fancy Goldfish Award. So we're going we're gonna to enjoy ourselves down there. Can't wait to see what the judges select. Uh, for our award that we've sponsored uh, and it's just uh, wow there's just not enough days in the calendar right so we, we couldn't be two places at once this is something we've wanted to do you know I set up a 75 gallon goldfish tank got a nice playlist of videos on setting that tank up and I absolutely love it I think the final outcome and the video that I was able to make um, it just kind of lets you know, oh, wow, he must really have had a good time doing that because you can tell there's a lot of time invested. It looks great, so relaxing, and uh, as, obviously I'm a dog person. Uh, we used to have a cat as well, but these uh, I said that because these goldfish are like puppies, and they get called names like babies and puppies, and they're just they're very interactive as, as far as fish go. We love them, big, fat personable fish that interact with you every time you're near the tank so we're going to go check that out and unfortunately it conflicts with the big fish deal i'd love to go to the big fish deal two dollar super chat hung chow was i gone long enough to hear you uh bought a tesla no no but i did stop by the ford dealership to check on the new uh mock e mustang not going to actually be available for another year another year model Okay, I haven't missed any super chats, okay, although I've not kept up with chat. Hey, Ginger Graves. Get on in here, Ginger. Yeah, let's see. Riverwife says, at Steenfot, wore both of them, wears them all the time. <laughs> That's true, I do. I, one time I was in... Um, uh, yeah, I, I found that Bob at a... At a a yard sale around here or something like that. I don't recall. I'm, I'm just teasing. I bought it off Teespring. And uh, I told you one time, Bob, that I got more subscribers on my YouTube channel when I wore that shirt. And you laughed and said, so do I. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Keller's Aquatic says those Mustangs are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm sold. I'm an early adapter. I've been driving the old uh, 2015 Nissan Leaf for several years kicking around not burning any gas haven't bought gas in a number of years and i like it that way and we're just chatting away we're just we're live here at 10 38 and we got 96 people here watching thank you so much for being here got some awesome mods in the house tonight just looking at my chat i see kaylor's aquatics daryl deemer candy overhauls interacting with everyone in the chat uh i know earlier just a few minutes ago i saw punchy paints um Fish Room Fever. We've got a great group. Chattanooga Ed. Wonderful group of people in here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Better Time Story says, Rack is the biggest on building up the fish keeping community. He is the heart. Well, thank you for saying that. I certainly understand the benefits of building a community so we can share and have time to hang out, share information, share life with. I get it. And it's worth it. And it's a really good use of our resources. So I'm happy to be here to do that. Mr. Fish Sir says, hi, Rack. Hello, how are you? Uh, Cena Annie says, thanks to River Wife. Uh, not to mention a great hardworking mod in the room tonight, Angela Cross, also known as River Wife. Thank you so much for all you do, River Wife. My number one supporter for sure all right still got 96 watching i want to try something here 55 likes wow thank you guys very active i appreciate that 
We're going to try a few things here. The technology sometimes works and sometimes... Well, looks like we got the lights turned on here in the community tank. Kaler's Aquatics says, Rack is a huge pillar of our community. Well, right back at you, Bob Kaler of Kaler's Aquatics. You, sir, are a huge pillar of the community. Also, so you guys know, Bob Kaler was shouted out moments ago in the KG Tropical live stream for being one of the biggest supporters in the fish fam. Huge supporter of KG Tropicals and River Life. And I think I've heard you say, Bob and other streams that you moderate over 25 different channels. Very giving. I've never heard you or seen you uh, ask for anything. You're just there to help us all out. And the fish fam would definitely be at a deficit without you. So privileged for River Wife and I to meet you at the Knoxville meetup, the East Tennessee Fish Tubers meetup at Aquatic Marine. That was such a blast to get to see people, to meet people in a fishy environment it was really cool mad tanks in the house how's it going good to see you in here buddy fishy fun 57 rack you uh, kicked off my channel i had no content and 25 subs after hanging out now i need to upload content all right glad to hear it fish fun 57 let us know how we can help we're here for you Let us know how it works out if you try it, says River Wife. Okay, we're going to move on down the show here. We got some content to get through tonight, and we do 101 watching. We made it. Way to go, guys. Okay, 101 watching. I'll make an announcement. Super chats are appreciated. They're never expected. Always appreciated. Thank you so much for your consideration. This is a free show. You don't have to feel like you owe me anything. You don't have to... Keep us on the air by super chatting. They are appreciated, and we do use your support to help support things that go on uh, as far as the YouTube channel goes. That said, got a couple of things going on. You see some new decor behind me. These are a couple of my prints that are available on the new River Life Art Etsy page. The Etsy store is open. I'm selling art prints. For those of you in the community tank, if you buy one of those prints from the Etsy page, mention... In the notes, which other one you want, and I'll send you a, an additional one free. So we got to buy one, get one going on the Etsy page. So I'm, and I'm really excited about that. I can talk about my art. I, I'm, I had a long break from painting, and now I'm painting again, and it's pretty cool. I'm really enjoying it. But uh, here's what we're going to do for, for every time there is a super chat on the board or a sticker. There won't be any talk of the Etsy page. That's enough support for one minute. So super chats and stickers, turn off the Etsy talk. And then if we ever happen to get to a hundred dollars of super chats in a, in one stream, I've written a poem, uh, titled the fish tank. We get to a hundred dollars. I'll read a poem. Uh, and I, before I do, <laughs> I may, I may put another offer out there. If we, if we reach this goal, then I won't do it. So you can turn it off if you want to. Those are just a couple of things that if then I've been watching some videos on YouTube and how other channels do it. And sometimes it, it's more interactive. If you throw out an if then for the, the great people in your chat to interact with. So there you go. And again, no pressure, not a ask, not a sales pitch, just, just things that are in play so you know we got jess shrimp granny in the house who is bragging about having a river life original i think right now jess shrimp granny you're probably one of three that do uh hung chow's recalling a 200 dollars super chat in the past and i recall that too and at that time i didn't have the offer in play i didn't have the poem written i just wrote it yesterday jess shrimp granny with a five dollar uh, super chat working toward the hundred turning off the art talk for now and we're on our way to a hundred and i think uh hung chow super chatted two bucks so we're at seven 
Yeah, ninety-three dollars to go to the poem. Sand Creek Aquatic with two dollars. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. We'll see. We'll see how this thing lines up. Tiffany White's in the house. Hello, Tiffany. How are you doing? Also present at the East Tennessee YouTubers Meetup. Man, that was fun. Matt Rondo talking about his 40-gallon planted tank. That's cool. Got Chattanooga Ed in. I'm going to have to start writing this down. You guys, you're going to do it, aren't you? $2 by Aquariums Maintained by Andy says, cool. Yeah, man. Cool. Thank you so much for the super chats. You guys are amazing. Sand Creek 2. Hung Chow 2. La, la, la. I'm scrolling. I'm going to keep them counted. Uh, Sand Creek was first, then Hung Chow. Thank you guys again. Active chat. So that's two, two, five. Jess Shrimp Grand. He just wants to hear the poem. Five bucks. Sand Creek with another two. He wants the poem. Chattanooga Ed. Bam. 10% there. With a $10 boom. And the aquariums maintained by Andy. Dropping the two. Daryl T. You guys. Oh, you guys. $14.99 from Daryl Deemer. Uh, so that's a 99. So I'm going to just call that 15. We're not keeping the 99. He's on his cell phone checking in. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, that meetup was fun. Yeah, and we made off with some great fishes. You guys, you guys, we made a haul. Bob Kaler, several bags of fish, Ginger Graves, Tiffany White. I was walking by doing a live stream and Riverwife was at the cash register checking out. We were getting fish. We were bringing fish home to the fish studio. Let's see. Yeah, we're over 20% there to the poem. Candy Overhaul's posting a link up. Angela Cross. <laughs> Riverwife. <laughs> Riverwife with a $25 super chat laying it down. We're over halfway there. Oh my gosh. It's going to be, that's how it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, Woot Lady Cross. That's right. You're awesome. Science Gal Aquatics up in her game. I can't wait to see uh, what you've got accumulating for your uh, YouTube channel, Science Gal. We're with you. We're for you. We'll help you any way we can. Good luck with that. We got our eye. We're following. Everybody check out Science Gal Aquatics if you're not already. She's got some things in the pipeline you're not going to want to miss. Okay, we got the lights on. We got acclimation going on. I've seen several new names. Kaler's Aquatics. There he is with another $10 super chat and that cheerleader saying, go, go, go. Just like he does. That's the way he is. Uh, 35, 45, 50, 60, 68, 73, 73, over 70% there. Another $5 from JD Chico. Thanks for always being an example of humility and love towards others. Well, I love you, JD Chico. And thank you. It takes somebody that feels that way to notice that. Thank you so much, JD. Ginger Graves with the five dollar super chat. Oh my gosh, eighty three dollars were over eighty. <laughs> D Max with Canadian thirteen ninety nine. That puts us within about two dollars of the poem. They're wanting the poem. We have to carve out time. Scott Backer says that we're not even going to make it close. Here's twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks, son. I want to hear that poem. He doesn't even say anything. Sand Creek Aquatic, $10. Another 10. We're over the hump. We're over the hump. I'm going to have to read the little poem. 10% at a time, 25%. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. For that, I'm going to read you guys a poem. Now, you know I've started painting again. I, I love it. Yeah, I used to have a, a newspaper article here from years ago where I did uh, one of my one-man shows involved hanging art. Uh, mobiles, kinetic art. Now I've started a minimalist abstract series of fish, tropical fish related paintings. And that I, I tell people whenever life gets emotional, I go to paint. I don't know what it is. The paint is my creative outlet. It just gets my head right. So we've recently, you guys, thank you so much for your thoughts and prayers. We've recently um, placed my dad on hospice care. 
And um, one of the premieres I did a couple of weeks ago was actually from his hospital room. And it just made him smile when I told him that you guys in the chat were saying hello to him on the internet. And he said hello to you guys back. He was really encouraged that I was interacting with a group, uh, any group, just happened to be on my computer, which he doesn't completely understand. But I'll tell you, that man taught me the value of community and building relationships. So it's been a little emotional. I'm back in the paint. I love it. And uh, man, it got a little hectic last week. The paint wasn't enough, so I picked up the pen and I had to write a little bit too. So um, it's just a little poem. I'm going to be happy to share it with you. Thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, and I, I hope you enjoy it. I think you can relate to it. I had all you guys in mind when I wrote it. So here goes. Thank you, Reels Tanks. God bless you. Appreciate you. Yep, Kaler's Aquatics, hashtag over the hump, absolutely. And here we go. The, the title is The Fish Tank. A box that holds water, like it holds my attention. A window with a view. I see a world where I belong. A reflection like a mirror. This one makes me smile. A box that holds water. And life and courage and hope. And that's it. That was my little poem. Moonstone KK, welcome back from Etsy. At, uh, Etsy. And later on, if, if you missed that poem, it's a short poem. I may read it again later for anybody who missed it. Uh, Redfish, Bluefish just dropping in. Aquariums Maintained by Andy says, thank you. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Matt Rondo, very nice. Roxana, hello, says, excellent. That was great, says Jessica Spade. Matt Rondo, nice. Again, Nola Jane, Fish Rich, beautiful. Tyler Lott, applause. Fish Tropics with a thumbs up. Lori Venker, beautiful. You guys are awesome. How could you not be inspired and encouraged with the last 20 comments in your chat just saying thank you? amazing chattanooga ed good job rack thank you brother chattanooga ed joe coffee with the finger snaps i get that i dig that yep that encourages me to the core very nice excellent punchy paints loved it i love you guys what can i say thank you so much better time stories prayers from my dad always appreciated i do thank you guys so much again we'll do that again later in the show for anybody who missed it Thank you so much for all of your um, your super chats. They're still on the board. I'm looking at them up there. It's amazing the support you guys offer. New people still coming in. Still 94 watching. I want to take a peek here before we move on. 68 likes. Man, guys, thanks. Yep, J.D. Chico says, A great poem to inspire people to smile and reflect. I hope so. I hope so. That... Um, even though it was very chaotic and emotional, the place was very happy. And I hope that came through. I was, I wrote that from a happy place and that was just thinking about our engagement with our hobby and how much more it is to us than just a hobby and how we have a platform like this to share it on. And, um, I want to, I want to do two things quickly here. I want to throw some chum out there. And uh, Kaler's Aquatics, we love Rack. I love you more, Bob Kaler. Thank you very much, brother. Um, I want to throw some chum out there for you guys to consider. Kick around, make some comments if you want to. And the chum is, what's your favorite aquarium background? Favorite aquarium background. Could be a solid color. Could be a print. Could be a particular item. Uh, but I'm interested to know in the chum what you guys use as a uh, something you like as a background yeah matt rondo's giving me a list mm -hmm. i'm gonna go back what's gonna happen matt rondo is i can't not consume that i'm gonna have to go back and watch the replay and write that down and put it on a list and you never know when those fish are gonna are gonna turn up 
but we can't talk about it right now. We still got super chats on the board. So we're going to move along. We got the chum out there. We're going to go to one more section here. We're going to try out the, uh, we're going to go with the technology again, see if we can get some cooperation. Okay, we got a feeding frenzy going on here in the community tank. And we got the lights coming back on again. And the technology is outsmarting us. There we go. Okay, no worries, no worries. Just a little bit of excitement, that's all. We got a feeding frenzy going on concerning the video that we released, how to aquascape. And that you guys gave feedback on that. You said not only was it lifelike, but you loved how it came out. You really enjoyed uh, the video. It looks lovely, looks good, beautiful, amazing, on and on. You guys didn't stop. You know how you are. Read the chat. I, so much of that because of this aquascape that we built. And it became a series, you know, two videos ago, I took you to the rock garden where I got the inspiration to build the how to aquascape nanoscape in the Oliver Knott Flexi M 4.6 gallon aquarium kit, premium, all premium. Listen, that thing has cleared up and it is so gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Fish Room Fever, five bucks. Missed the super chatathon. Awesome poem, awesome art, awesome guy. Can we get some more likes in here, please? Thank you very much, James. I appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you for the $5. Sand Creek Aquatics with another $2. Thank you, Rack, for all you do. Happy to do it for you guys, Sand Creek. Thanks for letting me be a part of your community. Um, I'm going to look for a picture really quick here of that aquascape. Uh, until you can get a chance to go over and check out the the video, can you? Ch I don't know if you can tell much about that or not. Um, man, I love that thing. Turned out great, and we've got to stock it. We got to get some fish in there. I don't know what it's going to be, but on that video uh, before we went on air here, it had 222 views, 52 likes. Um, a little below average performance after a fantastic premiere that was above average. So it's an anomaly. This is one of the first videos that I've had that launched above average and then tapered off to below average. I don't know exactly what went on there. Um, I'll, I'll tell a story here that I kind of revealed in the KG Tropical chat if you were watching. Um, I became a member again in the KG Tropical live stream of the KG Tropical channel. I had been a member and you guys are familiar with what the memberships are. You pay a monthly support and then you get members only content and recognition in the chat. It's for larger channels over 30,000. They can have members. Um, so anyway, I lost my credit card. Uh, I turned up later. I hadn't lost it. I'd misplaced it. But in the meantime, I went to the bank and had the card replaced. What I didn't think about was all of my uh, automatic withdrawals being cut off and not automatically started back again. So I had to restart my membership with KG Tropicals. So that happened. And um, I don't even know why I told you that. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, Maybe it will come to me later. Anyway, it was a great story. I lost my card. I found it. I messed my uh, membership up with John. So, Candy, take your time. Thanks for being here. My Skift, I saw you drop in. Thank you. Yeah, my, my mind is loose. I, I had a point there. It's gone. gone. I can't find it. Not, not even, if I think about it in a minute, it'll come back to me. It's gone. Uh, yeah, you keep missing the premieres, better time stories. Well, it could be the uh, notifications are erratic sometimes on Facebook. Uh, lots of times I miss notifications myself. But anyway, moving on uh, to the studio. What's new in the studio? Now that we've got that aquarium scaped, 
we've got to stock it. We've got to get something in it. Bob Kaler's already given me an idea. Uh, Kaler's Aquatics had a great idea. It's 4.6 gallons. You saw the kind of color scheme, Siru stone and fluorite, which is a kind of a clay, a red clay substrate with some green plants. So uh, what are we going to put in there? What do you guys think? What are some good nano fish for this planted aquascape tank? I'm going to, again, that's patriotic, Kenny Schindler. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, American flag with all the names lost during 9-11 behind his 180. That is an awesome backdrop. Man, I was a full-time firefighter on duty at Station 1 on 9-11. Never forget that day. Okay, shrimp tank. I heard that. Yep. You can't go wrong if it's a shrimp tank. It's absolutely perfect and ideal for a shrimp tank. But anyway, load up the chat with your ideas. Nano fish inhabitants for a 4.6 gallon. You've seen how it's escaped. I'm going to go back, read, read them all, take some notes. We'll see what happens. And that may be, if I can skip down to the spawn, that may be, that may be, the video next week okay we're going to do um, a water so so the studio update is new fish to come in the nano you guys help me decide what they are when i get them ember tetra punchy paints that's good yes i agree good contrast neon cardinal tetras my gift cannot go oh cpds shoot bcfr aquatics man I've been looking for a reason to get me some of those fish. Chili or Phoenix Rasboras, absolutely. Every time, all day, Jilly and Cannoli. Connolly. Yeah, those are good. Chili Rasbora D Max. Cheerleader fish. Whatever fish they are, Sand Creek, they'll be cheerleader fish. Okay, and I'm going to mention now we're going to talk about uh, there are no super chats on the board, so we're going to do a water change. I'm going to tell you about River Life Art. Uh, pouring straight out of my heart I love minimalism I loved abstract art I've been doing it for a number of years uh, River Wife posted in the Facebook group uh, which now has before we went live 249 members in the Facebook group can we get to 250 can we Not, uh, 87 of you still here if we could get to 250 in the Facebook group River Life YouTube channel, Community Tank Live, Facebook group. That would be outstanding. 249. I mean, we're knocking on the door. Which, by the way, I did my first Facebook Live late, late. Gosh, I want to say two nights ago, which would have been like yesterday morning. Something, something crazy. Had people, had Alaska, Germany, East Tennessee, Oregon. It was crazy, the people that were up. It was late here in the East, not, not so late in the West. Um, we were just talking about, is this going to be a good venue to talk about this river life art that I'm doing the originals. I'm having prints made. I've been contacted by major fish tube channels for commissions. And we're in talks with Aquashella about a vending booth. So it's really taken off, uh, 92 and 80. Thank you for that. I appreciate you keeping me posted on that. Kaler's of products, uh, Kaler's aquatics. It eases my mind a little bit. Takes a couple things off the checklist. Um, it's moving right along. I'd love to share it with you. Uh, I think it's a little bit forward. I want you to hang in there with me. If it's not your style, that's okay. I'm not trying to convince you um, to, to enjoy my art if it's not your style. I understand. Uh, but if, you're, if, if you like art, and this is a different style of art, I will ask you this, please allow it on your buffet of options. If it's something you don't want right now, just leave it there, walk on by, don't spit on it, maybe what the next guy wants. And uh, I think I think there's something in here for the fish fam. I think we can learn uh, perhaps even a, a different way to look at our fish. I've been doing that for over 50 years. And um, using this lens, this abstract minimalist lens i'm picking out different details about the fish that i keep about the fish i watch on youtube 
about the fish I see in the local fish store or in Knoxville when I go to a fish meetup. And it has expanded uh, the field of view, so to speak. It's enhanced my quality of life. And if, there, if, if this can be a gateway to help someone enjoy their fish more because it's a little different even after all these years, then it's, a, it's an accomplishment. So somehow that's woven into my artist statement. But it's also, it's very minimalist. No gotchas, no hidden features, just is what it is. And, and if, if I were to quote my, uh, and no one has posted a super chat, so I'm guessing I'm not boring you to tears. People aren't fi filing out of here. We're back up to 95 watching. If I could share a little bit about my, uh, and this is a little tongue in cheek. This isn't serious, of course, but as you'll see, a little bit about my artist statement. You know, every artist has to have a purpose. Uh, my artist statement would go like this, blah, 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 for about two paragraphs. And in conclusion, my paintings tell it like it is. And that's all I want them to be. I just want them to be representative of what they are. A few colors, a few limited brush strokes on a canvas. I'll give you some direction with a title, but the viewer is the boss. Sand Creek Aquatics, so that's enough. Shut up. 99 cents. <laughs> and I said I would. Good deal. We're done. We're moving on. Taylor's Aquatics said, what about that Project Piaba? Project Piaba, doing great. We love them. Um, they're protecting a fishery that's preserving our hobby, hobby-wide in a sustainable manner. They're an all-volunteer organization. Please do check them out. The link posted in the chat. And we can move on. You know, we did a, a live stream last week that was titled Major Milestone. And we didn't spend any time talking about a major milestone. I may have mentioned it. I don't think I did. I don't think I mentioned the major milestone. Uh, hello, Priscilla. Welcome. Moonstone KK with a $20. Got you twice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Moonstone KK. Appreciate you being here tonight. Thanks for the $20 super chat. Um a hundred thousand views on the river life YouTube channel that happened last week, a hundred thousand views. So KG tropical is talking about a million views in a month. That blows my mind. When I was on the KG tropical live stream, I was up there with John and Lisa and, uh, we were talking, I think I had like 50,000 views and John thought that was for one video. He said, yeah, but that's not for your whole channel. <laughs> I put my head down. Well, actually, yep, it is. He couldn't believe it. It's like, oh my gosh, what is up? Nobody's watching these videos. So I did a video with John while I was up there and lo and behold, in a couple of months, it had over 10,000 views, one video. Uh, yeah. So it's a different world. He's in a different atmosphere. Uh, I guess a hundred thousand plus uh, views things happen differently different scale that's what i tell john it's a different scale but what we agree on is it doesn't matter what the scale is what matters is if you do what you love because you love it if you can find a group of people that you love doing it with all the better and it doesn't matter the numbers they're kind of important you, you kind of look at them it's not like you worship them but you you focused on them a little bit but you bring your best game. You just do what you can do. You put it out there. Put it out there on the buffet. Let the people decide and you keep doing it. You do it because you want to. You bring your best game. And I'll tell you after over 200 edited videos, the game gets stronger. You learn things by doing. And I would consider myself a slow but thorough learner. And after 200 videos, I can work that iMovie, a free app. It's the free Apple software for editing videos. I couldn't at first. It was intimidating. But uh, after 200 tries, you learn a few things. So we just keep showing up. Uh, and I'm saying this as encouragement to all the creators. Look at all the creators in the chat. Um, it doesn't matter how many subscribers someone else has. It doesn't really matter how many you have, although that's your source of encouragement. What matters is you enjoy what you do. You do it at an enjoyable level. And I promise just doing it, 
without trying specifically to grow rapidly in any direction, you're going to get better at whatever you do just by uh, virtue of experience. And this is the old guy talking. Yeah, one, once I don't care what it is that you do. If you do it often enough, you're going to find some ways to do it better. You're going to use less energy and have a better outcome. You're going to learn to work smarter instead of harder. So Tyler Lott says he's an Adobe Premiere guy. I guarantee it's the same way. You just, you're learning something all the time. Learning by doing. Hang in there. Corey used to say, show up to work. Well, he still does in his older videos. Show up to work. Uh, Jillian Connolly with a Canadian $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Pygmy Core as a group of eight or 10 would be amazing. Okay. I have a group of four and a 15 gallon. Yeah. Okay. You need more. Fun to watch. Sand Creek Aquatics, five bucks. Agree, Rack. Do what you like. Not everyone else. This is what we love. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for being here. We found something we love. I appreciate you guys. 102 watching right now. It's 11, 11. You know, later on, 83 likes. Thank you guys so much. Um, later on tonight, about 1130, we're going to head over to multi-tank addiction live, live stream. Chris, Chris has done the, uh, I'm blocking it with my microphone. He's done the project Piaba Cardinal Tetra art over here. This is his original. And every time he sells one of those prints off of his website, he gives Project Piaba a donation. So you guys check out Chris. And we need we need a hashtag to go over to Chris. I think they came to John from Corey with hashtag 400,000 because Corey, Aquarium Co-op, I didn't mention. I'm wearing the colors tonight, but congratulations, Aquarium Co-op, on 400,000 subscribers. I like to say, I knew you when. Uh pre 100,000 you just shot off like a rocket on that moon shot you matter of fact you soared by the moon uh 10284 thank you Kaler's aquatics uh congratulations way to set an example way to look back and help all your friends I've never asked you a question about uh how to or how to better either keep fish or do a YouTube channel that you haven't responded to so thank you Corey for that and we're behind you here at the river life channel and especially here at the river life community tank live stream oh jess shrimp granny says oh man are we doing red shirts tonight i'm already in pjs it, it just worked out it just worked out that way i don't think it's red shirt night it just happened that way jess shrimp granny don't feel bad if you're already in your pjs if i stood up you might see i'm in pjs too and the red shirt doesn't match but we got a hundred thousand views all right, and we got to pick a hashtag to go over to see Chris because it was 400,000 to John, hashtag 400,000, hashtag one uh, capital M here, 1 million, 1 million views Whew, in a month. That's a lot of views. Wow. So we got to go see Chris. What's it going to be? Uh, it's going to be hashtag nano. That's what it's going to be. Hashtag nano to go see Chris. I'll write that down and maybe it will help me remember not to repeat it next week. Hashtag nano going over to MTA after we finish up here. We've got uh, 1113. We got 17 minutes left. We're going to go to about 1130, 102 watching. Uh, we've got some folks in here. Fish Room Fever still hanging out. Thanks a lot. Fish Room Fever is going to be following multi tank addiction in a live stream and nocturnal feeding. So hang around for James live stream after Chris's. Uh, we call ourselves the Project Piaba Powerhouse. Um, we love supporting Project Piaba. Uh, myself and Chris and James. So that's River Life YouTube channel, Multi Tank Addiction YouTube channel, Fish Room Fever YouTube channel, all supporting Project Piaba, using our platform to help them help us. Kendall Speck, hashtag orange guppy fish. Nice. Uh, maybe that's an illustration. Maybe, yeah, that's a figurative nano. Nice. Yeah, FNS Fish Room. It's an all nighter every Thursday night. Get a comfortable seat. Okay, we got some GoFundMe's going on in the community. Uh, I haven't noticed the links. Maybe they've been up here. We got a um, Kaler's Aquatic sponsored GoFundMe for the Candy Overholes family. 
uh, recovering from her husband Stacy's heart attack. We've got a Kaler's Aquatics dropping another $10 super chat with the cheerleader. Go, man, go. Thank you, Bob. Uh, we got, um, we've got a GoFundMe for Punchy Paints. She's having some difficulties in her um, her living quarters. The, the landlords have just gone nuts coming down on her hard. Uh, last week, she had her water pipes frozen. She was having to purchase water to do water changes and drink and cook and bathe. So our heart goes out to uh, Pam, Punchy Paints, in this time. And we do have a... Go fund me lined up for her. I think uh, either Candy or Bob, I think, is hosting that one. Candy Overhauls or Kaler's Aquatics. Kaler's Aquatics has just posted the Candy Go Fund Me. Super mod, Kaler's Aquatics, getting the job done. And we also are going to keep an eye out. Um, for those GoFundMe links for Ohio Fish Rescue, where Big Rich, I met Big Rich and his wife, Tracy, at Aquashella, and we heard uh, a couple of weeks ago that Tracy uh, became very ill, ended up on life support in the emergency room. I haven't heard, a, haven't heard an update on that situation other than that, other than Big Rich's wife, Tracy, was in the hospital still on life support. Uh, so we keep that family in our prayers. If someone finds a link to a GoFundMe for them, certainly welcome to be posted in this chat. Great bunch of people here in this community looking after each other. And I get the sense, I get the sense that, uh, we feel better about us. We feel like we're the best us when we can help other people be the best that they can be. And I'm not saying that for any other reason other than it's noticeable. I mean, it's it's an observed behavior because you guys are great. Roxana said he didn't update a few days back. Okay. And it doesn't look good. So certainly positive thoughts and prayers for Big Rich and Tracy and the Ohio Fish Rescue. Definitely well-known members of our community. Uh, River Wife says Recon 338, we got snow. Yeah, it didn't stick. It turned the grass white, but not the roads. All right, Sandy Daugherty gives us some good info here. Big Rich puts a daily update on the Facebook page. Okay, so I guess that's the Ohio Fish Rescue Facebook page. And I'm certain I'm going to go after we finish up here and uh, leave a comment of encouragement because he is probably drawing from that, you know, a lot of strength. It's very meaningful in a time like this for somebody just to just to read the words that someone else is thinking about them in a positive way so we can do that thanks for that information sandy i appreciate it my skiff says she's still in a coma and believe that she is doing better okay okay all right moonstone thank you You got snow everywhere. You guys be careful if you got snow in your area. It's beginning to stick. It's 11:18 here. Uh, we're gonna move down to the school. You know what we haven't done in a few weeks? We haven't gone to school. I have not seen where the school is swimming around. I don't know what the school is doing, but we're gonna change that right now. So the question for the school is, and listen to this question carefully because there's a key word here, and the key word is aquarium. And here's the question. What's the most expensive aquarium fish? And I say that because it eliminates koi. I know of a koi that's sold for over a million dollars in Japan. But we're not talking about koi. We're talking about the most expensive aquarium fish. I was surprised. I was surprised at the price and what type of fish it was. Now, if you Google this, it'll, you'll come right up with it. This this thing, this fish is famous, and it's all over the internet. Uh, 
Um, Riverwife just texted asking me to close with the poem again for the newcomer. So we'll leave a minute for that. Good, good catch, Riverwife. She's always helping out like that. Thank you. Okay, so the most expensive, not, not a Placo down the wormhole. It's an arowana. It's a platinum arowana, and it sold for $400,000. And that's reported by the International Business Times, and it's all over the Internet. There's Chattanooga Ed with a link to the GoFundMe for uh, Pam at Punchy Paints. Excellent. Yeah, no super chats on the board. So Bob Kaler's posting the uh, art on the Etsy page. Hey, if you go to the Etsy page and check it out, by the way, I've got a new echelon of paintings that will launch next week. You got the first seven or so up there. Another seven or so will go up next week. And there's something you do there. I don't know if you follow the page or if you heart it. Uh, there's something you do on Etsy that helps the page gain stature. So if you're over there, and, and I appreciate it if you check. I appreciate you just visiting. But if you feel like it and you can find that thing, I think you click a heart, much like you do a like here. I would appreciate you doing that. Yeah, my skiff said Asian Arowana. Matt Rondo said Arowana. You guys are right. Yeah, Echelon, though. I know. <laughs> I mean, these paintings are rolling out. Thank you, Bob, for doing that. Yeah, and there's another link for Pam's GoFundMe. Donations are needed at Pam's GoFundMe. You guys check it out. We got 1121. We got nine minutes. We've been to school. We've got aquarium backgrounds we've talked about. Uh, we didn't talk about the mid surface or the surface mid and bottom fish tonight and i want to know um fish for each part of the water column what would be good for a species tank if it was just a spe not a community tank but just a species tank what are good fish for different levels because when i think of species tank i think a lot of lower mid fish large predators usually hiding in rocks ambush predators so can you guys think of any surface level fish for a species tank, an aggressive predator type, or maybe super shy and just doesn't like to be with another fish in the tank? <laughs> oh, Pam, you're silly. <laughs> That's funny. Are you guys, uh, let me know about that. Sorry, not sorry. I love language arts. Language art skills, says Moonstone KK. Well, me too. I fancy myself a wordsmith from time to time, but not full time. It's too hard full time. It is. GRB Aquatic says a festivum. You know, I look these up later. Uh, so many lists. Bitterlings. Yeah, I knew you guys would know. Rolling in. Rolling in. Bring them on in. So you guys got that going. And also, any any mid-swimmers. Like, all the mid-swimmers that are on the top of my head are groovy community fish. They just love being in the mix. They like to say hello to the people up on top, and they give a nod to the people on the bottom. They're just good community fish. Yeah, okay, Killies. There you go. Killies. Gar up on top too. That's a good one. Uh but the Killies, yeah, they're they're best in a species tank for sure. Oh man, I haven't I've resisted I've resisted the the Killy urge. That could be a slippery slope. I don't know. That's Whew, that's another bunch of aquariums waiting to happen. They're smaller aquariums, though. Just a bunch of them. Angelfish? Nah. Wild angelfish. There you go. Okay. Discus? Ah. Yeah, they would be, but I want, I want some dithers in with those fish, those angels and discus and, uh, and plecos, too. 
Gudead. Roxana said Gudead. Yeah, especially if you're uh, if you're breeding them, they probably do better in a species tank. Uh, platinum half beaks. Danikin says. Those half beaks are pretty cool. Colombian tetras. Now I'm going to have to look that one up. Okay, 1125. We got fish rolling in all levels of the water column that make a good species tank. Um, man, I, sometimes I just like asking you guys to name a bunch of fish, and then I get to go look them up. And I'm telling you, hatchet fish love the surface. Kenny Chandler, they do. They do. Also, I want them in a community tank. I want some fish swimming around with them under them. But, um, yeah, so I get I start looking at these fish. And before you know it, I'm out there in the fish studio with the canvas on the easel. <laughs> Rummy nose. Sweet. Odessa barb. Nice. So many fish. So little time. So well said, Moonstone KK. Yeah, uh, Pam, Chris may be working right up to the buzzer. I haven't heard, but I'm guessing that may be it. So moving on to the spawn. The spawn, what's happening uh, in the community tank uh, in the future, next week. It's going to be stocking the uh, nano tank. Or I put in the notes, the show notes in the description for the video bucket full of eggs that could that could go a lot of different ways but the bucket full of eggs video is planned it may be the next video it may be the stocking depends on which fish we find in the meantime we got hung chow with a five dollar super chat and he says my 50 carbon really shrimp have turned into over a hundred in four months that's doubling your shrimp tank 10 gallon favorite tank currently Oh, Flip Aquatics. That's nice. Currently with Emerald Dwarf Danio, a fish I've never kept. But I have fond thoughts of that fish. What is your experience like with those fish, Hung Chow? Are they a, an easy fish to keep? Are they getting along with the with the shrimp? Those carbon reelies are pretty cool shrimp, too. I've got reelies from Rob before. They were cool. Thanks for the super chat. Butterfly fish for the surface, absolutely. Okay, uh, Pam says Chris hasn't uploaded a stream yet. Sandy says tell him no rush. Okay, we we could probably go a minute or two longer if someone wants to keep an eye out for Chris. We can stall for Chris for a minute or two. Moonstone KK says, sorry, didn't know it was all caps. And then says, sorry, not sorry. Okay, Steenfot is in the house. Hey, Bob, good to see you again. Uh, oh, okay. Not only is Chris scheduled, but Bob Steenfot is there. I'm going to go change into my Bob Steenfot hoodie, my Steenfot Aquatic hoodie, and I'm going to watch Chris and Bob do the live stream over there at Multi Tank Addiction. Chris is a pretty cool guy. He does art on his live stream. He takes live telephone calls. He has guests. He's a basically a technology engineer with 300 gallon aquariums around him. So I don't, I don't know uh, why you wouldn't enjoy hanging out with that guy. Recently monetized. Uh, you guys, thank you very much, Community Tank Live. You went over and subscribed to him. You watched his videos to help him get there. So thank you very much. I know he appreciates you guys. And Hung Chow with the Emeralds report says they're easy to keep, but very skittish. He only sees them at feeding time. Okay. The shrimp are bigger than them. Wow, that's a tiny fish. Yeah. Chris says none of that will happen tonight. <laughs> oh. Well, it's going to be a great show anyway. I can't wait to see what you do, Chris. And if uh, if Bob Steampot's over there, I hope there is some rainbow fish talk because with my paintbrushes flying through the air these days, I'm thinking, and I look around this room, I'm seeing some rainbow fish influence. So I want to hear Bob talk about those rain, rainbow fish. Nerds be nerds every time. We got 1129 before we turn the lights out. I want to hit you guys with this poem again. Uh, I wrote it with you guys in mind. I read it earlier tonight. I'll read it again for the latecomers. 102 watching now. And then 
Following the end of the poem, we're going to turn the lights out, and it's going to be a great night to go over to multi-tank addiction. So here we go. The fish tank. A box that holds water like it holds my attention. A window with a view. I see a world where I belong. A reflection like a mirror. This one makes me smile. A box that holds water and life and courage and hope. I hope you like that. That's my encouragement for you. Until next week, why don't you stay in the tank, get your fish on, and, if, and before I see you again, if you get a chance, get out there and see it, live it, nope, see it, love it, and live it. I'll see you on the next one. So long, guys.